Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to a new episode of HMS TV. I'm Alec Brooks, today's host, and as usual, we start off with our sh <clears throat> show with uh, the middle school update. Take it away, Mr. Keller. Happy November. As you know, last week, many of our grade six students attended the Nature's Classroom field trip, and I'd like to offer an HMS Today thank you to the staff members who spent their days and nights making this trip possible. Ms. Sterling, Ms. Hurl, Ms. Frazier, Ms. Pondian, Ms. Mason, Ms. Mazur, Ms. Callahan, Ms. Connor, Ms. McDeed, Ms. Burke, Ms. Black, Mr. Paquette, Mr. Casey, Ms. Brown, and Mrs. Ben Benick. Thank you as well to Ms. Richards, Ms. Hurl, Mrs. Burke, and Ms. Ben Benick for their many hours organizing and preparing for the trip. Grade six students, please be certain to thank these staff members for all of their time and efforts, and thanks to each of you for all you did to make this trip a success. Huge thanks as well to our Ignite leaders for helping with luggage on Tuesday morning. Speaking of trips, in the past few weeks I've met with parents, members of my Grade 8 Field Trip Committee, and Grade 8 Student Council. Each group has made a similar recommendation for our destination at the end of the year. The next step in this process is receiving approval for our end of year field trip at this Thursday's school committee meeting. I'll update you next week with news one way or the other, so don't even ask me. I can't tell you yet. Lastly, later today, we have a planned safety drill. As you know, throughout the year, we practice multiple fire drills to ensure that evacuating the school in the case of a fire becomes routine for us. Our goal today and future safety drills is to help us all be prepared in the case of a school emergency. Today's and future drills will be used for us to practice and learn from our responses. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Keller. And now we have a quick segment for our eighth grade audience, so pay attention to this announcement from the Live Club. Hi guys, I'm Caroline. I'm Olivia. And I'm Sachi. And we're the Lib Club, Club Officers. Lib Club is a student-run mentoring program between 8th graders and juniors and seniors. We do a variety of full group and small group activities focusing on leadership and transitioning to the high school. Students are divided into teams of 8 and are assigned two mentors. Sessions are every other week from January through May and are packed with psych-ups, games, cookies, and laughs. Last year's students have told us that Lib Club was a major part of their 8th grade year and we hope to share that with you. We hope you join Lip Club and instructions for signing up can be found in your 8th grade science room. The deadline is November 15th and we can't wait for another great year. Thank you. Nice, I can't wait until I'm in 8th grade. In fact, I can't wait for a lot of things. Anyway, moving on. Our question of the day <clears throat> today is, what movie should have an alternate ending? Inside Out! Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, because they advertise Luke all in it, and then he didn't even he didn't speak in the last five minutes. Really? The Dark Knight. The Fault in Our Stars. Batman vs. Superman. Billy Madison. Tangled. The Phantom Menace. We, we think, think that, that the giver should have a different ending. Legally Blonde because I wish they made a third movie. Marley and me because the dog died. Paper Towns. No. Ariel, like the original one. Batman versus Superman, and I really want them to introduce the CW's Flash and Green Arrow. I would like Forrest Gump to be changed because it was just an awful ending. Phineas and Ferb the movie. <laughs> Pokemon the movie. The entire Star Wars prequels. The Planet of the Apes. The Shrek 2. Curious George. Screenagers. G-Force. G-Force. Jaws. SpongeBob the movie. And Ratatouille. I would have liked the giver to have had the ending that was in the book. All right then, now we bring you another in our continuing series of middle school clubs. This week's profile is the board game club. What I like about the board game club is being able to just sit down and play some games with awesome friends and also the amazing counselor. What I like about the club is like you can just do your own small group thing instead of like having to work together with a huge group you can just gather a few friends and do, just basically do your own thing. What I like about the club is teaching people how to play by beating them. Most of the time we bring, everybody brings board games. And we decide which ones we want to play. There's some that are just left alone, while others are totally packed. Um, so far, there's been a few people playing Dungeons and Dragons, other people playing Stratigo and things like that. Risk. 
Yeah, and risk. Risk is a great one. Put simply, we hope that people will have fun at this club. You just, just come one day. Show up. Oh just yeah. Come here. There's no, there's no sign up. Just it, it's in. for all ages. Uh, what I like about this club is you can uh, bring in a game that you like to teach to people, or you can be taught new games that you've never played before. And now a friendly reminder: Are you looking for the "Have you seen this image?" Visit our website in order to see that picture, and then start looking. Make sure you look for the due date. That's a wrap for this episode. Check us out online at hchem.tv slash hmstv or send us comments, suggestions, and complaints to our email hmstv at hillers.org. That's the address to send your have you seen this entry and to, ask <clears throat> and to ask us to come visit your club. On behalf of everyone here, we'll see you next week and with more new stuff. Work hard. And speaking of success, what? Oh. Sorry, that's a bad transition. I didn't know I was like supposed to or something because it's like we start off with our <clears throat> oh, dang it. Or send us us <clears throat> oh jeez. Cool. And now let's bring you the <clears throat> oh jeez. Alright, let's do that one one more time.